Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today I'm going to be looking at Logic's drummer feature and I'm going to be showing you how you can replace the drum samples that come with drummer with your own samples but maintain the rhythm of the actual drummer. Now drummer is an excellent tool and over the past few updates of Logic Pro X it's been updated and advanced and it's awesome in many respects. However, I often use it as a tool for starting off a groove. I find a rhythm, tweak it until I'm happy, and then I replace many of the drum samples, but keep some of the core elements and definitely the groove. So let me show you how this is done, and I'm sure it will be a useful feature in your workflow. Let's get started. So for those of you who've never used Drummer before, all you need to do is hit this plus here to add a new track, choose Drummer over here, and you have a whole range of different styles, uh, preset styles, rock, alternative, and so on. I'm going to go with hip hop and I'm going to uh, hit create, but I've already done that. So once I hit create, what will happen? I'll get a new drum track just like this with a pre-built rhythm section and this pre-built rhythm is going to be a hip-hop style so let's play that back so you can hear what that sounds like okay so um, down here are the parameters that you can alter you can uh, choose these different rhythm styles here you can change the drummer you can tweak, um, mute, remove, and different parts of the rhythm. That's that's not what this session is about. This session assumes that you already know how to use Drummer. Anyway, the main um, purpose of this video is to show you how you can replace the existing um, Drummer samples with your own. So let's assume that I've done all of my tweaks. I've chosen uh, one of these presets here. I'm going to stick with Ambition, and I'm happy with this this uh, rhythm as it is but I want to choose some different drums in fact I want to use my own drums um, and replace the ones that's there now this is how you go about it let's get rid of this um, audio track right here okay so what you want to do is create another drummer track okay so let's hit that let's cre hit create okay so you've got two drummer tracks. Now the chances are this one's going to be quite different to that one. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah. Now we, we've got a different drummer down here um, and we've got uh, the, the whole, all the parameters are different. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this, delete this, and we're going to change the actual drum module two uh, in fact let's see what this one is this is beat machine up here so that's beat machine so we're going to go for beat machine down here as well um actually we change the drama first of all to oh i think it was this guy aston and then and now we're on beat machine now all i'm going to do is copy this rhythm section and drop it down here and you'll see why i'm doing this um, option click drag drop okay so I've got it should be an exact copy now I'm going to play that back right cool so they're both exactly the same now I'm going to come down to the second drummer uh, region and I'm going to control click and I'm going to go to convert convert to MIDI region all right now, the reason I could have done it to the top one, but I want to maintain the original drummer file because once I start messing with this, if something goes wrong, I could always go back to the top one and uh, start again. But I, I like to always keep a backup, all right? So I've just created a new uh, MIDI version of this. Um, now, this is what it looks like. Let's open it up in... Um, a full piano roll. I'm using my screen sets. So my second screen set number two, we should be able to go straight to the, uh, here we are. Okay. So let's just scroll down a touch and let's look at this now. So I'm going to play this back and you'll see. Okay. So these are 
all of the notes that or drum hits that make up that rhythm. And let's zoom in a bit more so you can see that nothing it's not fully quantized. As you can see here, the some of the hits are slightly off point. Um, that will give you that sort of groove. There we go. See, nothing's exactly on point. Okay, there we are. Um, let's come in here. So you can see right here, these are slightly off the mark. And that's what gives it the rhythm, that sort of human feel. Because as a drummer, as you know, um, drummers are not machines. And when they play, they play with a human feel because they're human. So the next thing I want to do is sort of figure out which drum hits I want to replace or which samples I want to replace. I've already got an idea of what I want to do. I actually want to replace the kick, the snares. We've got some, some claps there and there's that snare. So I'm going to replace the kick, the two snares and the claps. I'm going to keep the hi-hat and yeah, that's the open hi-hats and the rest of the elements and the crash and yeah, I'll keep all of that. But so these are the elements that I want to replace. Okay. So how do we go about that? The first thing I do is let's say, let's go back to uh, screen set one. And I want to create a new MIDI track or software instrument track. Now I tend to use the EXS24 sampler for most of my drums. So let's set one up. So I'm simply going to go to Add a new track, software instrument. I'm going to choose the EXS24 sampler and create. Okay, let's just close that. And I'm going to load up one of my Body Blows uh, drum kits, uh, the kick drums. So let me just get on and do that. So now I've got my Body Blows kicks um, loaded up. I'm going to go to screen set two. Now let's have a listen. Okay, I've already decided that I'm going to go with uh, C1, that kick. So let's go back to screen set one. Okay, so now what I do is I'm going to copy all of the drums down here. Okay, let's mute this one. I'm now going to go into this region. I'm going to command A to select all. Hold down the shift key to deselect the kick drum um, part and then delete. And now I've, all I've got left is my, uh, are my kick drum hits. I could, of course, I could go to another drum, choose a different sample. This one might actually work. Actually, I'm going to stick to this one. Actually, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Right, so that's my kick drum done. So what I'm going to do is let's come out from let's come out from here, and um, let's open up this. I'm just going to mute all of these kicks. You simply click on, click on it, and you um, just mute that part. And let's come out and. Right, so the kick I'm using is this one, is my kick. Okay, great. So I'm going to do the same thing for the snares and the claps. So same principle. I'm going to create another couple of EXS24 sampler instruments with my uh, snares and claps loaded up. And then I'm going to reassign the drum hits um, with my own samples. So let's do that now. So I've got my new Body Blows uh, snares loaded up and I'm going to now do the same process. But before that, actually, let's label um, this region right here. So to label that, it will be Shift N and type, I'm just going to type kick it in there. Okay. And now we are going to copy this, click option, drag and drop. Okay. We're going to go into this, just open that up in the piano roll. So 
So we're going to use this snare right here and we're going to delete everything else. So let's command A to select all again, shift click to deselect that one and then delete. And I'm actually going to keep this position. So this is what we're going to have. Let's solo this. That's the snare I want. Okay. Let's combine it with the kick. Now you might think that, well, why didn't I just um, program this snare in? Um, these hits have been humanized by the drummer program. And that's why I'm actually using those. All, a lot of the work has been done for me already in terms of humanizing the rhythm. Okay, so once again, I'm going to create another two EXS24 sampler instruments, one with snares and the other one with claps. Let me do that now. Okay, so let's do this second snare, which um, we just follow the same process. Click, option, drag, drop. Yeah, okay. And before I do this, I'm going to name this region snare one. Okay, and this one's going to be snare two. So let's get into this. Let's open this up. And where's our second snare, which is this one. Now this snare hits on every fourth beat, unlike the other snare, which hits on two and four. So I just got to bear that in mind. But before we do that, let's get rid of everything else. So again, command A, select all, shift, click to select that and delete everything else. Okay. Now I know that the snare that I want to assign is actually on the note G4. So let's grab this, select all of this, and I'm going to just pull this up to G4. Let's just have a listen to my three reassigned elements. So now my claps track is all set up. Let's do the same process. Uh, actually, once again, before I do that, I'm going to rename this region. So shift N and then snare two. Okay. Um, now for the claps, select option, click, drag, drop. Just drop that in there. Okay. Now the claps, if I was correct, I'm going to go back to the original and I'm going to open this up. So the claps were, is it this one? Yeah. So that middle one there. Okay. So let's come out of that, go back to this one. It would be a lot quicker if I wasn't doing a tutorial, of course. Um, and once you get your head around it, um, you'll be able to whiz through this with um, great ease. So this is the one that we want to keep. That's our clap rhythm. Um, so again, Command A to select all, shift, click on the clap note and delete. Okay, so all that's remaining are the claps. Now I know that I actually wanted to keep the claps on D sharp one. Now it's kind of a snare clap, but it kind of works for what I want to do. So let's come out of there and let's play back just my elements. So Let's see what we got. Okay, so those are the elements that I've got. None of it, not, nothing's been processed or anything. They're just the raw samples. Okay, now this is the final bit of the process. So I'm going to solo that. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to hit mute and mute all of those. And let's come out from there again. So up here, we've got, let's say it was just the percussion that's playing here. So I'm just going to rename this to percussion. Uh, okay. And down here, this, these are claps. Claps. And we're going to read, let's just read, well, that, these are properly.
renamed this just this is the only one that needs renaming so we're just going to double click on here and we're going to um call this percussion okay so let's play that back and have a listen see what we got Okay, so, so like I said, that none of these have been processed, they're just raw. And once I've processed them and EQ them, it's gonna sound pretty good. Now let's compare my reassigned drums. Let's compare to the original. So switch that solo off. What we're gonna do, we're gonna solo this. Have a listen to this. And now this. So there's a lot more weight on the kick drum. And there's a lot more I could do with the snares as well. And the claps, I could brighten them. Plus they're on their own individual tracks. So I could actually process them individually. Let's go back to the original. Now the rhythm is exactly the same, however the samples I feel, I, uh, my samples are far more dynamic, have got a lot more punch and a lot more flexibility. So this has been a real quick overview on how you can achieve this process of replacing or reassigning drummer sounds or elements using your own samples um, of course like i said before because it's a tutorial i'm doing it's, it might seem a bit long-winded but once you get your head around it and you get into it it's actually really really quick and simple um, it's a really powerful tool drummer and if you want to learn more about it please do drop me a line and i'll see what i can come up with in terms of a more in-depth uh, drummer tutorial so do remember to share, like, comment and subscribe to the channel because it's always great hearing from you. So until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.